I'm back out doing some more landscape photography. Uh, come up to Waswater and we're going to make our way up onto Great Gable soon. But we're planning on getting here early just to avoid the crowds. And then we figured that we may as well come here and see the sunset first and then go up there. So I'm still working out what to do at the moment, but I've set up the camera here and I'm getting this cotton grass in this bottom right hand side of the picture. Then you get this rock with, um, my brain isn't working, but uh, mountains. It looks really nice. The sun is starting to come up behind the one on the left. Green gable, maybe. I think we're gonna do the one that's in the middle at the back. But I think what I'm gonna do is make my way down towards the water's edge because there's a little bit more wind in the air than I'd like and it's moving around all this cotton grass. So I think I'm just gonna just um, make my life a bit easier, find a composition which is mainly rocks that don't move in the wind and then I can get like a sharp picture because I like this, but it's possible that there's a better option down there. So uh, yeah, we'll go and do that. I'm liking that strip of light that's coming down there. So maybe we can do something with that. I'm kind of feeling a portrait shot, but we'll find some rocks down here that look quite good. I've wandered down a little bit further now and carrying on from the last video when I was doing the long exposures and giving that a try again, just because that wind on the water is making it quite ripply. And I'm quite liking how there's some subtle colours up in the sky here, in that bit there. Then it's quite dark on the water. So it's sort of like a solid dark patch, bottom right green patch, bottom left where all this grass is. Then you get in the silhouettes of the mountains with the sunrise colours above it. So I do quite like that. So we'll set that one off again. That's a 30 second shutter speed. And then we'll have a quick look down here. I did want to come further down here, but I liked having that gap above this rock don't really like how it blends in there. There's also a minibus here, or a van there. I think that spot there is probably going to be where I'm going to stay. I've got a feeling it's not going to be like a uh, I don't think there's going to be much more of a sunrise. It feels like it's all happening over that way and we're just getting like a faint glow. So I think smoothing out that water and trying to make this a solid streak of light with dark spots might be my best bet for this morning. I'm going to have a bit of a wander around anyway, but um, I'm just going to be in this area. So I think what I'll do next is we're going to drive down that way after this and then we'll make our way up Great Gable. It's been a little while since I last had the video on. I wandered down that way and tried to find some more compositions. Um, I didn't find any that I liked that didn't have that van in. So I waited just past these bits of cotton grass about there for a little bit. And then as the sun's come up and it's got a bit lighter, I've come back this way because I can get a faster shutter speed and then get these um, bits of cotton grass in as well. And I think this is my favorite shot. The water isn't as nice now. Like it's a little bit glary. See, it's a bit whiter here. There is also some Herdwich sheep here, which I'm waiting here until they get about here. Because fingers crossed they walk through the picture. It looks like they're going to walk off that way though. So that's just like the ideal situation. But for this one, I've gone for a, a portrait shot. 
So you get all the cotton grass down in this area here and you get that island and then because of the way the light is at the moment this one's a bit darker this one's a bit lighter you get the sunrise and them clouds rolled in like five or ten minutes ago so there's like some really dark ones so it's dark bright dark so it's working out really nicely then i just got a two-stop hard grad cutting across here then the two stop soft is coming down to about here so I'm managing to get it all into one photo I just keep the tripod I don't think them sheep are coming anyway but what we're going to do now is head up onto Great Gable and we should get views back down this way um, I've got a feeling this might be a long video but we'll see what happens just after I put this camera away, the herdwits came across. I've had to go across to a landscape shot, but they're all grazing in the grass next to all this cotton grass. And occasionally they look up at me, but got them all grazing in this bit. I've had to um, increase the ISO a little bit, and we've got a 150th second shutter speed. So, fingers crossed they'll be sharp. This is what I wanted to happen, but it doesn't always work out that way. So I'm just going to keep on taking a few here, and then we are going to move after that. Um, I probably should have done this in two videos. Oh well. Next, we'll be on Great Gable. <laughs> 